welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials so in this video i would like to explaining about sigma comparators so basically the construction working and how to use the sigma comparators into the measurement science so first of all starting with the construction of sigma comparator so basically sigma comparator works on to the principle on to the leverage principle in which the high magnification is obtained entirely by the mechanical means so the magnification range is for this sigma comparators that will be around 300 to 5000 is being obtained so that will be having a good sensitivity as well as good accuracy during the measurements so just you can see the construction of sigma comparators so starting with the plunger so that will be called as a plunger so basically plunger that will be consisting of the contact points so here that will be the indication of contact point during the measurement and this plunger it will be supported between the slit diaphragm during the measurement so that will be second important part into the construction of sigma comparator so basically this slit diaphragm which provides the friction less linear movements for the plunger so while that will be the reciprocating of this plunger that will be providing the linear motions so up and down by the application of plunger and that will be controlling by slit diaphragm so this plunger carries a knife edge which bears upon the face of the moving block so that will be our moving block and that will be the face of the moving blocks so that will be connected with the plunger so what happened the moving block of a cross string hinge so this cross strip hinge consists of the moving component on a fixed member so here that will be the moving member and this one is the fixed member so moving member and fixed member that will be connected with the help of cross strip hinges so that will be making a bridge between fixed member and moving member and the face of that moving members that will be connecting with the knife edge so just you can refer the diagram when our workpiece material you can say standard workpiece material it will be into these positions so that will be the exactly positioning of this plunger it will be controlled by the slit diaphragm from here as well as from here so that will be controlling the vertical movements and according to that knife edge it will be connected with the plunger and one of the face of the moving member which is also connected with the knife edge so according to that movement of the plunger so this knife edge is also moving so according to its positioning that moving member it will be deflected so that will be the initial position of the moving members now that will be having a some deflections so these new lines that will be the new positioning of the moving members so according to the construction of the sigma comparators this moving members it will be fixed member so the connectivity between the moving member and fixed member with the help of cross strip hinge so that will be also a moving components so now further that will be connected with so the y arm is attached to the moving end of the cross strip hinge so the one side is this one and second side it will be connected with the y arm so at the end of this y arm because that will be in shape of the y so the end of the y arm so that will be the one end and second end 
that will be connected by the phosphorus bronze ribbon with the application of driving drum which will be having a radius of small r and that driving drum it will be attached with the pointer so this one is indication as a pointer so that will be the circular scale connected on to the another side and that will be making a first reading so r1 with respect to the standard measurement so suppose this one is my standard so that will be the positioning of the plunger according to that that will be the moving members fixed member and according to that that will be the reading number 1 now this workpiece or you can say this standards it will be replacing by our components so this red that will be indication as a workpiece material so according to the change of the dimensions like this it will be moving upward so that will be making a new positions so according to that new positions this moving member is being deflected and according to that it will be connected with the YM so YM is being deflected so that will be the second positioning of the YM so according to that second position or you can say change of the workpiece with respect to the standards so that will be having a some indications you can see into the scale so this is our second reading by our workpiece so this, this much amount of deflection by changing the that much amount of dimensions of the workpiece with respect to the standard workpiece so what happens by the changing of this displacement or you can say plunger displacement that will be connected with the slit diaphragm and controlling the up and down motions and according to my magnification that will be the adjustable screw or you can say adjustable screw is being used according to my workpiece so this is the reciprocating motions now it will be connected with the moving block and moving block is connected with the flex member with the application of the cross strip hinge and that will be connected with the YM at the end of the YM that will be the driving drum which is connected with the application of phosphorus bronze ribbons to the both the ends of the YM so this drum is, is moving so according to that rotation of this drum this pointer it will be deflected onto the scale so for the magnification of the sigma comparators generally depends upon the all the dimensions so let us see if the length of the y arm that will be considering as a l distance from the hinge prior to the knife edge so this much amount of your length of the y arm and basically knife edge is a so from this knife edge to the a distance or you can say towards the y arm so that will be a so basically the magnification for the first stage so you can say that first stage magnification that will be called as a this l divided by a so basically this much amount of length and this much amount of length so that will be the first stage magnifications now in case of the second stage magnifications suppose the capital R that will be the length of the pointer and small r that will be the radius of the drum so which is given the second stage of the magnification of the sigma comparators and that will be indications like capital R divided by small r so from these two first stage of magnification and second stage of magnifications the total magnification so like this total magnification that will be L upon A into capital R upon R so that would be called as a magnification of sigma comparators so from this equation we can conclude that by for the increasing the magnification of the sigma comparators which is done by reducing the 
a distance from the sigma comparators because that will be into upper side so if you are reducing this much amount of distance so you can increasing the magnification of the sigma comparators now we will see some of the advantages and disadvantages of the sigma comparator so first one it will be the cheaper as compared to any other comparators they do not require any external energy so external external energy is not required then third one so they are normally robust compact and easy to handle so that will be providing all kind of required characteristics of the comparator then they have linear scale use for the mechanical works of for ordinary conditions so that all are regarding to the advantages of the sigma comparators now i will discussing with the disadvantages of the sigma comparators so starting with due to the more moving parts friction is more so that will be indicating as a low accuracy is being obtained second one less sensitive increasing parallax error so that will be all regarding to the disadvantages of the sigma comparators so, so these all are regarding to the sigma comparators with their advantages and disadvantages so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much